The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. so that the top surface is a distance L under water of density rho W, rho, the density of water. What is the force due to the water pressure on one vertical side of the cube? Do not include the effect of the air pressure on top of the water. So, this is the, scenario, this is the visual scenario of the cube underneath the water. So you have a cube of all lengths L, L down, L to the side, L L is deep, and then is a distance L underneath the top of the water. So we're looking for the force due to the water pressure. Force from water pressure. Force from water pressure. Now, Pressure, dealing with force, is F over A, right? Pressure is, is F over A. So force from pressure is you take the pressure, multiply it by, a, by the area, and that's equal to the force, okay? So, now, we don't, we're looking for this, we, might, we know the area, but, uh, we, as L squared, but we don't know really anything else. We don't know the pressure. We need to find out the pressure first. So, we're going to go ahead and put that up here. Force is equal to pressure times area. Now, we want to deal with pressure. Pressure is equal to rho g h. But the thing is, we're looking for the vertical side. So, force going into the vertical side from the water, right? And so that vertical side has a has a length has an h difference. It has has a height of l here and a height of two l here. Goes from l to two l. So that means, unfortunately, we have, we're going to have to deal with the intervals. This is one of the most uh, more complicated mathematically problems that we're going to have to deal with. So what we start out with is all right. So h goes from L to 2L. All right, so what we're going to have to do is start out with P is equal to, uh, this is an integral from L to 2L, okay? So that's doing, we're finding the pressure all along the vertical edge, okay? Finding that pressure all along the vertical edge times rho w g h d h. Okay? So, now how do we solve for this? Because h is the one that's changing, and so that's why I put the dh here, and so that, that means we know how to take the integral because we're messing with this as a variable. These two are constants. So it turns into... We take out the constants, rho g, and then we have one half h squared times from l to 2l. Okay? So that means we end up with rho w g goes one half four. L squared minus one half L squared. Okay, so that means we have rho W G. This goes to two. Two L squared minus one half L squared is three halves L squared. So three halves L squared. And then now that's the pressure. Now we need to make it so that it's area. Okay, so that's the area for the, cha the change in pressure for the change in uh, height. So that means we found.
on the pressure differential times this. To make it, to make it uh, deal with area, we have to multiply it by the horizontal L. Because not only do we have all the pressure from the vertical, but we have it multiplied by this, 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 this. We have to multiply it by the entire L to find the area. So we take this and multiply it by another L, and then we get force is equal to 1.5 rho W G L cubed. Answer. This is kind of con math, mathematically conceptually difficult. You have to deal with an integral, but and then you have to multiply it by the area, or else you'll end up with uh, L squared instead of L cubed. But hopefully this might uh, teach you how to do other pro similar problems. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.